Good evening from Whitney City, Kentucky. Uh, this is Lynn Maxwell uh, showing you my first video of introductory to my art. I've been doing art since about 1978. When we as a church would go to church, the men would gather up in the parking lot before church time and sit around whittling. Now this would go on for about an hour before church time. And the men, as they whittled, they would whittle their sticks down, usually cedar sticks that they were whittling with. And that was uh, lead louder milk and myself. Over Sumner and uh, a bunch of other older men sitting around because I wasn't hardly that, I was just a young man at that time, uh, back in 78. I was around 20, uh, 25, 26, maybe, maybe 28 at that time. And these men were a lot older than me and they did a lot of whittling. And I enjoyed watching them whittle their sticks down the shavings. But that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, so therefore, I wanted to make something with uh, with my stick that I was living on rather than just shaving, although I had been just shaving my stick down to nothing. But I wanted uh, I wanted my wood to do something, make something for me. And I got to thinking about it, what could I do? And uh, I decided I would make a little little sculpture, or we will a, a sculpture of a, a little, just a, just a part of a person. And uh, this is the first piece that I have ever made. Number one, as you will see on the bottom of it, it says, Lynn, number one. That was in the neighborhood about 1978, maybe a little before. But regardless of when it was, the knife that I use, I still use it, at least use it somewhat on each carving that I will do or each sculpture that I will do. I will use, I will use this particular knife in some way or other on each carving that I will do. I may not do the entire uh, sculpture with this knife, but I will use uh, use it on it. But this one here, the small one that I did, first thing I did, I used it entirely made it with the knife that I have here. I enjoy doing art period. Uh, sometime in 19, four, uh, 2014, I discovered I would wanted to, uh, to paint. I like to paint also. Uh, art, I just love art, period. And uh, it's sort of an Appalachian heritage thing is I, I instill in each of my pieces of art, whether it's sculpture or even paintings, uh, which my paintings are basically uh, mostly uh, in the abstract, but I use that still yet with my memories as a child growing up on Beulah Heights. Beulah Heights, Kentucky, which is in Macquarie County, uh, where I still live at Whitley City in Macquarie County. And uh, Beulah Heights is only a short distance from here where I was raised. Uh, my parents uh, moved to where I was raised when I was just a baby. And there, uh, there's where I was raised till I uh, was 20, 25 year old when I when I married and moved away. But you know, uh, as time has went on, there was always something within me that I wanted to do that I just couldn't grasp it until that day at church when I decided that I wanted to do something with my knife and made the little carving. And the little carving is a very special item to me that has started me on the road uh, to uh, developing my art 
whether, I, whether I'm painting or whether I'm sculpting or whichever the case may be, I really enjoy doing it. As a as of right now, I've been doing a few paintings. I have painted, I think, about four in the past two or three weeks. About four. But I have more canvases up, get ready to paint. But then I also have a sculpture up, and I'm uh, working on it at the present time. Uh, I'll just show you some examples at this time. A couple of examples. I'll show you a sculpture. Uh, a sculpture or a carving that I did uh, several years back, somewhat, some years back, not a whole lot, but some years back, I did this particular sculpture. And it is, uh, I've, uh, the title of it is Laura and Jennifer. And um, Laura and Jennifer is ready for church. They're on their way to church. They've got their dress on. They're all primped up. They're all dressed up. And uh, Jennifer has got her little pocketbook just like her mom has got. And they love to go to church. And they're dressed up going to church. I call this, these again, I will give you the name again, Laura and Jennifer. I hope you enjoy these. Uh, I really enjoy do them, doing them, and I hope you enjoy looking at them. And I have many, many more sculptures and many, many more paintings that I will be sharing with you from time to time. And, but today I just wanted to show you a couple of uh, examples of my work. Now I'm gonna show you a painting. Uh, the sculpture, though, let me uh, say this about it. I don't know the exact dimensions from it, but I, it's somewhere in the neighborhood, oh, six, 15, 16, maybe 18 inches, uh, by about four or five inches wide. And the depth of it is similar, four or five inches in the depth. And, uh, the painting, the painting, I'd like to knock something off there. The painting is uh, titled Flying High, or also uh, the very many colors, I love colors. Colors is, is a very special thing to me. The more colors I get, or you also, this could also be titled The Stealth Rocket. The Stealth Rocket, Flying High, is a title that I also could use on this one. I love my art, I love painting, I love, this was in the, in the abstract, and I make, I don't only also uh, used my uh, a stretch my own canvas, but I also make the uh, the frame for my uh, canvas, and then I stretch my canvas. I use the name Bebo Albert also in, in my art, and that is used in memorial to my sister Jennifer. And as this sculpture is, Laura and Jennifer. Laura was my mother. Jennifer was my sister. Jennifer couldn't say my name because she had Down syndrome. She had a difficult time talking, although I could understand her and the rest of the family could understand what she was talking about. But she couldn't call my name Linville, but she could say Albert. And she would uh, uh, call, always call me Albert. And if you notice in the sculpture, you will see she's got a little hair bow. I don't know whether you can see it in the camera or not, but she always loved her hair bows. And she called her hair bows Bebo's. That's what she called them. And if you will notice then on the back of my painting here, I have 
Bebo Albert. I hope you can see that where it says Bebo Albert. Bebo Albert is a memorial to Jennifer. And that's why I use Bebo Albert. She's a very, she was very special to us. She passed away when she was 32 year old. And uh, she had a good life for her, her, her sickness. She had bad heart, bad lungs, but the Lord blessed us to have her all those many years and she was a true blessing to us. We were thankful to have her. I have so many things so many memories that I hope to be able to share with you as, as my growing up was. Thank you for today. Thank you for listening to me. If you enjoyed my uh, video, and this will be, uh, this is an update of one that I already did that I just seemingly needed to add some more to it, uh, to, to the video, to, to give you a uh, my background, the things I've done, and where I'm going, and what I want to do, and I want to, the I want my art to be seen. Whether I ever sell anything or not, I would love for my art to be seen, that people would see it. I have hundreds of pieces, well, probably near a thousand, if not more, that I have. But not counting the pieces that I give away, uh, I have sold a few pieces, but not a lot. And, but I just enjoy doing art. Whether I ever sold any more or not, I just enjoy doing art. Thank you for listening to me, uh, and have a good day. Good rest of the day. It's a little late in the uh, evening now. It's like coming down to evening time. So God bless you, and have a good night, and uh, have and let the Lord be first in your life. For, for these things, we give praise to God.